Imagine you're inside a concert hall. You can listen to the sound system that's been installed in that place, and you can judge whether it's a good sound system or not. But what if the facility hasn't been built yet? We needed somehow to, to have a breakthrough so that people could actually experience what the sound would be like before the building was built. I dreamed that someday sound system designers would be able to click on a spot in their architectural computer model and be able to hear that place all around them. Chris was the genius, the technical genius behind Auditioner. He is the one that put these multiple fields into play in order to invent the algorithm that allows the computations, the massive, massive mathematical computations to occur. I did not have a lot of passion for the subject. I was interested, but it was, it was intellectual. My boss, Ken, was incredibly passionate about it, and he and I worked closely on this project. What I saw is that other people on this project, on the order of nearly a dozen of them, each one of them became entranced with the possibilities, with the passion. They got in touch with their own flavor of a dream. Uh, thinking back on it, I mean, it was sort of cracked. I mean, it was a harebrained idea that maybe we could make sound from the computer model instead of making numbers that had some relationship to sound. I mean, at the time it didn't seem cracked or harebrained. It just seemed like an exciting idea. And I recall the moment at the press conference at the church in downtown Framingham, Dr. Bose told the press quite clearly, he said, this is an accomplishment that I did not expect to see in my lifetime. And that the reason that he did not stand in our way with those concerns, or even voice those concerns, is that he believed in our enthusiasm and passion. And so he let us go.